How's it going? Today I'm here with my WWE Mixed Match Challenge Week 2 review. Um, I'm not going to be discussing Enzo Amore's, you know, uh, release or anything like that, so don't even bother asking me questions on it because I pretty much covered all my thoughts on Twitter. So go ahead and follow me on Twitter at ZachBrown19 if you guys want more info about that. So yeah, I'm not going to be touching that. That's why I didn't make a video on it. So this video, like I said, this is going to be about WWE Mixed Match Challenge Week 2. And without wasting any time, let's go ahead and jump right into this video. Of course, the first round match for this week was The Miz and Asuka taking on Big E and Carmella. You know, this match was good, uh, well, not good, but it was alright, uh, I, what was good about it was the fact that they were able to showcase their characters more, I feel like, you know, seeing, you know, how Miz and Asuka were with one another, and seeing how Big E and Carmella were with one another, uh, embracing their characters and showing up in a different light definitely was the best aspect of this match, but match quality-wise, really wasn't much to it, you know, Miz and Big E, uh, went out from the start, you know, Big E put him in the abdominal stretch, he was doing the ass slaps, which I just absolutely hate, um, Asuka would tag in, and, you know, Carmella would fool around a little bit, to the point where Big E actually pulled out a big L, and gave it to Carmella, to get to Asuka, so that was a big, you know, thing with Asuka and Carmella was a big L, which Asuka just pretty much ripped in half, and, you know, Carmella ran and tagged in Big E, and Big E and Miz went at it for pretty much 90% of the match was Big E and the Miz going at it, some nice back and forth action, Miz was able to counter the uh, big ending for a neck breaker for a near fall, which Carmella broke up, um, you know, they went at, uh, at it for a while, and then, you know, Miz would end up uh, going for the clothesline in the corner, uh, Big E would get out of the way, but Asuka would tag herself in, so, you know, Carmella was a legal uh, person in with Asuka, Asuka would charge Carmella, but Carmella would actually rip her head off with a super kick, um, and Carmella was kind of showboating, and Asuka pretty much, you know, got up, hit the hip attack, and pretty much just ripped her off, uh, you know, ripped her apart with the, uh, the back fist and the slaps and whatnot, until she locked in the, uh, jumping cross arm breaker onto Carmella. Miz pulls Biggie from the apron, and in the course, Carmella taps out for the submission victory, so with Miz and Asuka defeat Biggie and Carmella in the second week of the WWE Mixed Match Challenge. Like I said, it was a decent match, not really much to it, like I said, it was mainly Miz and Biggie, and, you know, they didn't work bad at all but they definitely, you know, they weren't, you know, showing off classics. It was kind of just, you know, typical moves and, you know, just nothing really too bad about them. I was really expecting more out of Asuka and Carmella. I thought they'd definitely have more interaction, not really, not just, you know, the the L thing. And then, of course, Carmella just submitting at the end. I definitely expected more from those two, but... Yeah, it was, you know, a decent episode, I guess. Not really much to it. Um, last week's match is definitely a lot better. But, you know, with these two teams, you couldn't really expect anything of a classic here. So, next week's going to be Braun Strowman and Alexa Bliss versus Sami Zayn and Becky Lynch. That match I'm actually really excited about because, you know, Braun Strowman and Sami Zayn had great stuff in 2016. And Alexa Bliss and Becky Lynch had great stuff in 2016. So, I'm actually pretty excited for that match. That should be a pretty good one overall. So, um... Yeah, like I said, overall, this week's episode was it was decent. It was all right. Nothing really worth watching, to be perfectly honest. I did like, you know, the fact that New Day came out and Carmella was, like, single and had their own little mini bank, uh, mini uh, woman's money bank contract briefcases as well. That was a pretty nice touch. But, um, yeah, that'll do it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please, please leave a like below. Until next time, I'll see you guys then. Thank you guys for watching the video. Not giving it up this